The Roman emperor who was different. The name Nero brings to mind pictures of an emperor who was insane and the famous saying Nero was fiddling when Rome was burning. But to what extent are these facts true is what we shall look at. There are always two sides to a coin and here we shall examine both the sides. He was perhaps the most infamous emperor of the Roman Empire who ruled Rome between 54 AD till his death 14 years later. He was born as Lucius Domitius Ahenobarbus. He was adopted by his great uncle and took the name of Nero. Nero's mother had married Claudius the uncle and she was responsible for the adoption. She made sure through devious means that Nero ascended the throne. In his first five years as emperor, he earned a good name for his political generosity, power sharing and ending closed door trials. He generally went to enjoy his pursuits and left the governing to three of his advisors. One of his advisors realized he was under the shadow of his mother and got him to move out. This was followed by treacherous attempts from both sides to hold on to power and finally Nero prevailed in his attempts. After his mother's death, Nero gave priority to his pursuits of art and music. At private meetings, he sang and played the lyre and encouraged the nobility to learn dance. He was a keen athlete and made sure public games were held every five years. He too participated. His biggest and lasting legacy was the recreation of Rome after the fire. There are versions which say he was dressed in a stage grab on the roof of the palace playing the lyre and singing. Some say he had the fire begin since he wanted to build a bigger place. Nero, however, blamed the Christians and had noble ways of punishing them. The cost of reconstruction had drained the treasury and the empire was falling apart. He travelled and when he returned, he found that the revolt would finally get him killed, so he committed suicide. Now, here are some surprising facts about the emperor. He was the last of the Caesar clan. They say he was not even in Rome when the fire started and his own palace was on fire so that he was found fiddling on the roof was untrue. They say he was good looking but was short sighted and used an emerald stone to help him see better. He was the first emperor to wear a beard. He was highly conscious and had great interest in science. He was not a sex find as people make out. He was an artist first and emperor second. He shared many traits with Mark Antony. He was not cruel as he was made out. He lost his kingdom more because of disinterest in ruling than his playing the lyre. He died young and true to his last words, qualis artifacts perio. What an artist the world is losing.